Hello there guys, welcome back to my tutorial video. Today, as this is my first tutorial video, we're going to be going over something simple. So, to start off with, in today's video I'll be showing you how to make a consumable uh, activator slash circuits. So if you buy a consumable, you can get a roll or something mm -hmm. like that, on the basis of that. So yeah, um, it's going to be a bit more advanced consumable thing. It breaks less than the other ones that are currently out. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Welcome guys. So, to start off our consumable circuits, you want to first go into your maker pen, palette, on search, you want to search for event, and click on the one called event receiver. People who already know how to do circuits within Rec Room already knows what this is. This is used for either getting 30 hertz for the events or what I like to use it for, the consumables. You then want to click onto this box here. Click on the one called consumable used. So when a consumable is used, this will activate and activate the main consumable. We then, after that, would like a two string. The two string will get the name of the consumable used. Get the name of the consumable used. So it will activate the right consumable. We then want to move consumable to there. So it does that. It's the same value consumable as there are no consumables currently in here. We then want to get the big chips out. We want to get, come in here and search up the word switch. So we have all these different switches here. And the one we are currently coming for other ones what say string so we've got the execution string switch and the value string switch so if we just get both of them and just place them down so we got one there and we got one here after we have them um, you may think what do we use these for so this one here we will have the names so when the consumable is used, it will go to the names of them. And then here is where the main consumable will be held. So it acts like the same consumable. And yeah. So what we want to do here, click on to our configure button again. We just want to click onto this. And then on the value, search up the word fly. I'm going to do it all lowercase as that's what my role is going to be for the fly and after that your fly thing should come up then you want to do the exact same for one here you just want to put the word fly make sure it's spelt the same as the top one same with the capital letters and not capitals because otherwise that will mess it up you then want to get the connect connect and connect it up to the match and the match pretty simple pretty nice looking why not then after all that we want to get the consumable active being as we're only doing one consumable we only want to get a one consumable active you're going to place it down here if you're doing multiple Put different ones are here for different names, same here, and then connect these up to do the same. Then, after that, the consumables will always connect up to the same one. So, if you have another one, it'll connect up there as well. And with the fly, make sure it connects up to the right consumable because we don't want anything wrong to happen because that'll be terrible. You want to then. On consumable, we've got some chips here. You want to click into the consumable constant. 
we then want to right click the consumable and then click onto new consumable what's there you see and let's just name it fly just like we named um those ones i'm gonna have it all lowercase the word description to fly around the map because why not i'm going to keep it zero tokens as it's still going to be free but if you have reckon plus if you have reckon plus then you can obviously put the price tag on it to whatever your price wants to and then after we've done that we want to right click on the consumable click on choose existing consumable click on fly we then want to connect the consumable up to the fly as this consumable is obviously the fly then after that we need to get the roll roll you just want to place the roll chip below or wherever you feel comfortable as you might have sections for rolls you then want to after you've got the roll chip out you want to configure it again because we love configuring here and on here i'll say roll name you just want to click onto it and you won't believe what we're going to name it we're going to name it fly because we like flying obviously we then want to click on edit roll on here this menu will come up you want to then look at all these different things and if you're doing fly look for the one that says fly so can fly override yes so now as you can do it um we then want to get a roll add that's what i still call it let me just double check yes see instead of roll add it's play add roll sorry about that um so what are we going to do with this now we then want to come over here at the end of our activate and then we want to have it as here you want to connect the red up to the red and keep it to the local player and on value we then want to oh, on the value we want to click on configure configure the value to say fly so the same as the role same as execution same as the string switch we then want to search up the word fly and then after we've got fly done and then after all that is done we can just connect the red up to the red and yeah basically it's done but you're probably wondering hey i'm new to consumables how do i use it in game well luckily you can click onto your watch and if you search up con consumable it will say consumable store button then with the consumable store button you should place it down and look what it says a good old friend configure we then want to click on con to click on to configure click on choose existing consumable 
and then you want to click on the fly. So now, when we click on to fly, um, when we click on to fly, you click onto it, you get, and when you use, it will activate. And yeah, you'll have, then a fly. If you want to do like speed or anything, you just want to change the names or you can still add new ones, new values, call it like speed, speed, and then on the chip roll, it will obviously say wherever the speed is on here, walk speed, you can change the walk speed. <coughs> But anyway, that's beside the point. If you guys did enjoy this video, I know it's my first, so it's probably a bit bad, but it is what it is. First one's always going to be bad for tutorials. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you don't mind liking and subscribing, I'll be very appreciative. And yeah, see you guys later.